Assalamualaikum and hello everyone In this video, we're going to learn a new chapter which is benzene But first and foremost, um, we're going to learn 31 which is introduction of benzene So here is the learning outcome Describe aromaticity, cocoa structure and the resonance structure of benzene Okay, so aromaticity ni, uh, it does not mean that it is uh, It's not only about aroma sahaja It's not about um, this compound have like fruity a smell ke apa but then in chemistry what we're going to talk about aromaticity is actually about our aromatic compound okay and then for the aromatic compound there's actually a requirement so here is the four requirement that we have okay so one is actually it must be cyclic so maknanya uh, kena cyclic lah kalau contohnya kita buat hexene kan contohnya kita buat hexene so uh, this is not hexene this is pentene so pentene is not um Aromatic compound sebab it's not a cyclic structure Okay and then it must be planar So mostly kalau cyclic ni dia akan jadi planar lah Okay why planar? Okay so contohnya uh, If I talk about carbon here Carbon ni dia ada 1, 2 Sebenarnya kat sini ada satu hydrogen kan So ada baru ada 1, 2, 3 bond So sebenarnya ada Satu bonded carbon is bonded to hydrogen So what it have here Dia ada 1, 2, 3 Dia ada 3 bonding pair So bila dia adalah 3 bonding pair So it means that it's called 3 bonding pair Dia adalah sp2 Okay and then if you still remember The shape of sp2 is actually trigonal uh, Trigonal planar Okay so kalau trigonal planar Mostly the flat lah Unless lah kalau contohnya kalau sp3 dia adalah tetrahedral. So tetrahedral is not a flat structure. Tetrahedral tu yang kita dah start buat um, macam kita punya 3D arrangement kan. Okay. Tapi but then mostly if it's actually it's planar lah. Okay and then it's completely conjugated. So what does it mean by completely conjugated? It's actually we have alternating single and double bond. Itu maksud dia. Okay, so uh, this is completely conjugated. So for example, kita ada tiga kat sini kan. Uh, okay, we have three structure here. Okay, so kita tengok dia punya double bond mostly alternating lah. So sini, sini ada double bond, sini tak ada double bond. Dia apa? Double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond. So the alternating single and double bond. Okay, and last but not least, it obeys Huckel's rule. So it must have four n plus. 2 pi electron. Okay, so contohnya, if n is equal to 0, so maknanya, we have 2 pi electron. So, kalau n equal to 1, so maknanya, n equal to 1, so for n plus 2, so maknanya that we have 6 pi electron. So, kalau n equal to 2, we have 10 pi electron. Okay, so if you still remember, okay, kalau, uh, if you still remember, kita kena ingat lah, kalau one bond, there's actually two electron here. Lepas tu, and then for pi bond, so contohnya, okay, so this is actually, this one is a single bond. So, kalau single bond, what we have, on, we only have, um, apa ni, we only have sigma bond. Tapi kalau kita ada double bond, satu sigma, one would be sigma, another one would be pi bond. So, ni jadi sigma, eh, dia is sigma, ni sigma, oh sigma here. Semua yang first single bond sigma, tapi kalau kita ada dua double bond ataupun triple bond, maknanya ada pi bond lah. Okay, and then remember, so kalau dekat sini kita kata one bond ada two electron. So, here we have one, two, three. So, here kita ada three pi bond. So, maknanya we have berapa um, pi electron. So, it means that we have six by electron. Ha, so, remember one bond must have two electron. Okay, so kita tengok dekat sini. So, uh, six by electron. So, ada tak? Dia obey tak Huckel's rule here. So, as you can see here, dekat sini kita ada six by electron. Okay, so contohnya dekat sini kita ada, kita tengok ada double pi bond kita ada satu, one, two, three, four, five. Again, Kalau all the single bond adalah kita punya sigma. Kalau ada double bond, barulah start ada pi bond. So, here we have 5 pi bond. And then, pi electron kita, we have 10 pi electron. So, kita tengok dekat sini. N equal to 2 adalah 
10 pi electron. So, dia OB Huckel's rule. So, this is actually example yang mana where these three molecules, they obey, uh, they met the requirement for aromatic compound. Okay, so, kita tengok dekat sini again, benzene kita is actually example of aromatic compounds but the cyclic, the planar, the completely conjugated, maknanya kita ada alternating double dengan single bond lah. And then the OB Huckel's rule sebab kita ada 3 pi bond. So, maknanya kita ada 3 pi bond. So, we have 6 pi electron. So, maknanya the OB lah Huckel's rule kita. Okay, the same goes for naphthalene. So, dia adalah cyclic. Okay, it's a cyclic structure. Dia adalah plain lah. Sebab most of the carbon here adalah sp2. The completely conjugated sebab dia ada alternating double. Alternating double and single bond. So, walaupun kat sini kita nampak ada double, single, double, single, double, single. Okay, tapi dekat sini, tengok ni. Kalau sini dah double, sini mesti single. Here must be double balik lah. So, that's why lah tengah-tengah dekat sini, dia tidak ada double bond. Okay, dekat sini pun dia tidak ada double bond sebab nanti sama je lah. Nanti dia next to each other all the double bond here. Okay, so... Ah, kita tengok the OB Huckel's rule. Okay, betul tak the OB Huckel's rule? So, again, kat sini dia ada 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, dia ada 5 sigma bond. Lepas, eh, sigma bond pula. 5 pi bond. So, dia ada 10, eh, 10 pi electron. Okay, so kalau 10 pi electron, nah, dia OB lah the rule. Okay, so the same goes for here. We have structure kita adalah azulin. Okay, the cyclic because we have our cycloheptane dengan cyclopentane. Okay, the planar sebab most of the carbon here dia adalah sp2 carbon. The completely conjugated, alternating double single bond, the OB Huckel's rule. So, sama juga sini ada 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ada 5 sigma bond, so it, uh, pi bond. So, it means we have 10 pi electron. Okay, so kita tengok dekat sini. Kita ada cyclo 1,4 hexadiene. So, does it obey Huckel's rule ke tidak? Okay, so satu dia adalah cyclic. Okay, betul lah dia cyclic. Okay, dia planar. So, kalau cyclic structure memang planar sebab mostly adalah sp2 carbon. Dia adalah completely conjugated which means that kita ada apa ni selang seli lah double dengan single bond. So, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond. So, ada. Tapi, does it obey Huckel's rule? Okay, so kita tengok dekat sini. Sini dia ada... 2 pi bond. So, it means that what we have adalah 4 pi electron. So, bila dia adalah 4 pi electron. Okay, so kita tengok dekat sini. So, bila n equal to 0, must be 2. n equal to 1, 6. n equal to 2, 10. Ha, so, mana tidak ada kan? Hanya ada 2, 6, 10 sahaja pi electron. So, yang ini, this compound is actually does not obey Huckel's rule. So, bila dia tidak obey Huckel's rule, maka dia adalah it's not aromatic compound. Okay, it's not aromatic. Okay, so let's look here. Cyclobuta 1,3-diene. Okay, again, requirement dia satu mesti cyclic dengan uh, cyclic. So, it's a cycle structure. Lepas tu dia planar sebab, okay, but then sini sebenarnya ada yang sp3 carbon. Okay, but then... Um, kamu tak nampak lagi, kita tengok lagi Completely conjugated So, it must be mesti Kalau completely uh, conjugated Alternating single and double bond So, bila kita tengok sini Double, single, single balik uh, Sepatutnya dia kenalah Double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond Double bond, single bond So, dia does not obey Yang ini pun kalau kita tengok ha, Kalau kita tengok Does it obey Huckel's rule The same goes here sebab kita ada 2 pi electron. So, bila dia adalah 2 pi bond. Sorry, 2 pi bond. So, it means that dia hanya ada 4 pi electron. So, yang ini pun is not aromatic compound. Okay, sebab dia satu, dia tidak obey Huckel's rule and it's not completely conjugated. Okay, so that is the introduction for what is aromatic compound. Okay, so let's look here. Kita kena belajar juga about kekul structure and resonance structure of benzene. So, dia kata dekat sini, benzene is actually a resonance hybrid of the two kekul structure. So, kekul structure ni adalah kita punya cyclohexene. Kita ada alternating double bond. Okay, so bila dia kata resonance hybrid ni, so it means that actually pi elektron ni can move around. So, contohnya, 
I'm just color this bone kan. Okay, so if I, if I color this bone around. Okay. Okay, so means uh, this mo this electron can move around. So, kalau dekat sini, electron ni, it can move between this carbon. So, apa jadi? Dia akan jadi this bone. Okay, this one, the blue one. Kalau dia move around, dia boleh jadi the blue one here. Dia jadi kat sini. And then, kalau green one ni, kita dah gerakkan to this carbon. So, it will become here. Okay, so, walaupun position dia seems different, but it's actually the same. So, sebab tu kita kata resonance. Arrow ni maksud resonance tu, dia adalah sama sahajalah. Okay. So, dia kata benzene is actually a resonance hybrid of the two kekul structure. And this is actually your resonance structure. So, sebab tu lah if you google around pun, kalau benzene, sometimes kita akan, um, sometimes kamu tengok structure tu, dia buat cyclohexane. Lepas tu ada bulat di tengah, ataupun boleh juga kita buat cyclohexane dengan alternating uh, double bond. So, dua-dua pun diterima. So, that's it actually for the introduction of Uh, aromaticity